Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share with you guys the super easy DIY. Um. Now if you'd like to find out how to make this super easy skirt, come along now. <laughs> Okay, so a big piece of material, at least two and a half meters, depending on your size, a stretchy band, measuring tape, scissors, safety pins, an iron, needle and thread, of course, and some no sew adhesive. This stuff is going to be great for us non sewers out there, okay? So the general idea of this is that we're going to take the material and sew it on to this band. Pretty simple, right? But we don't want to sew it on, at least I don't want to sew it on straight across. It's going to have a weird fit. This material is not really stretchy, so we're going to have to add some pleats. And that's what's going to give us a nice, flowy, professional look, darling. <laughs> so I started out by measuring the material around my waist one time. And then doubling it. So once I found the mark, I just folded the material in half and then laid it on the ground so that I could cut it. If you want your skirt to be really dense or your pleats to be really deep, then you can use more material than this. This is just what I chose to do. Then I figured out my measurements in terms of length, how long I wanted the skirt to be. I want to wear it high-waisted and I want to be able to wear it with heels and flats, so I measured from the point of my waist that I wanted it down to the ground. Then I took that measurement and mapped it out on the material and actually gave a little extra just because I'm always scared like uh, what if I mess up. So give yourself some room just in case. You can always hem it up later and make it shorter. So I made my marks and then I cut that excess material off. Just make sure you're cutting from the bottom, not the side. <laughs> no, it suck. Then I took my black stretchy material and I measured how long I would need this like belt to be. So I measured that and then I added a little extra just so that I can have my wraparound hook section. Now I'm gonna attach the correct side of the material which is usually the darker side of the pattern um, to the inside of the band. And I'm gonna use sa safety pins, okay keep, to attach this before I sew anything, I'm gonna create a guideline so that I don't make my pleats too small and run out of material or anything like that. Safety pins, best friend. Okay, so I'm gonna safety pin one end to the other end, like so. Then I'm gonna safety pin the middle part. And then I'm gonna do the middle of those pieces. And I'm gonna continue doing that because it's gonna help give me a guideline so I can create my pleats and not have too much material. Now, if you don't mind having a really full, full um, skirt that's gonna be a bit heavier, then you don't even have to do all this pinning. You can just get a super long piece of material and just keep sewing and just like make your pleats and sew long, sew along, sew along until you get to the end of your band. Now that is completely optional. I didn't want that much material. So this was what I did. So that I have a guideline so that it looks like this. I can try it on, see how it's going so I don't run out of material like I did the first time I did it. <laughs> so hey, if you want, you could even stop the pleats and don't do them in the back and just have only pleats in the front. Girl, you make this your own. So after I have, you know, created my guidelines, I then proceed to sew and remove my bobby pins, I mean safety pins along the way. Now when I get to the end, I just kind of fold it over and tack it down and that's just gonna help with creating my finishing seam. I do not know the terminology right now at all. Anywho, fold it over on your edges and iron it out. So you're gonna do it on the sides and at the bottom. And after you've created that pleat, you're gonna use your no sew all the way down your hem and that's gonna help with your fraying and you can even double that twice. So after you've glued this and made a fold, you can do it again if you want that double action of security, no fraying. 
Then I cut off the excess material that was on the inside of my bands. I don't need any extra material near my stomach, okay? Because the belly is not so cute these days. <laughs> now for how to close the skirt, I'm going to add these little hooks. I got these at Fabricland. We have it in Canada. Um, and how this works is just like this. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to sew the base part on the inside and the other one goes on the other inside as they meet up. I'm really not explaining this well, so um, that's why there's a video with visuals. So I'm gonna let you guys just see <laughs> what I'm doing. Lining it up and deciding where each part is gonna go so that the hook will slip in nicely. Now, an even easier way is to use buttons. But before we get into buttons, I'm just gonna show you guys at the end of that little belt, I kinda just folded it over and stitched it down and that just kinda gave it a finished look at the end. Okay, so now we can add a button. So I'm gonna add a button on the end and this is gonna show through. You could have done this where I put the hook. So you could have had two buttons there instead of a hook. I just wanted to try the hook thing, it's not mandatory. So you sew on your button, find your spot, You'll make a little hole on the outside so that it can fit through. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy, um, not super calculated. It's going to be just based on you and your body and where you want things to sit. And that's the way I like it because I ain't no seamstress. Not yet, that is one day. <laughs> um, the last part is if you don't want too much skin showing. Then make your wrap around deeper, or you can also add a little button part way down right there, and that's going to help with um, too much leg action happening. But if it's over a bathing suit, it'll be amazing because you want that that breeze and that leg and that bathing suit showing, you know. So yeah, I just sewed on that little button, created a hole on the other side, and uh, pointer anywhere that I pretty much like cut. I'm been I'm using this fray block, so I just kind of made that little cut for my button, and I just stuck some fray, fray block on it, and that just helps with fraying. And this is your finished product, ladies and gentlemen. You are ready for your summer fun, okay? Well, I would love to see if you guys try the skirt. Tag me in it. Post it on Instagram at Why Not Keep is my handle. I would love to see it. I would love to see it. Also, I have another super easy summer DIY that I did exclusively for WVU creators. You guys have to check out that video and get your bathing suit all covered up looking cute though. <laughs> all right guys, that's all for today. Please read the description box for all the information and for the video link. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.